You're watching the X-Pack reveal and the chat is just... Should I do it? Where is it? Is it live on Twitch? I was gonna not do it, but now that you're saying that... Uh, now that you're reminding me of it, now I kind of want to just take a peek. I just want to kind of take a peek. Is it on Twitch? Dude, keep going. I just want to take a look. I just want to look. I just want to look real quick. That's all. I just want to have a little peep. I just want to have a quick little peep. The Waking Shore and the Anaran Plains. The very first zone in Dragonflight you're going to come to is the Waking Shores. It's wild, untamed land. It's waking up around you too, and the elements are just going crazy. The I hate how corporate it feels. Out of the park. Like, just talk to us, like man. Lava mountain flow. Like, like, like you know how they do it for Final phone. Fantasy? With, like, the... You just have Yoshi P. It's a live stream. It's, like, him and maybe, like, the translator. And they just vibe. Like, that's so much better. And, like, like look how much work they put into, like, all the camera work. Like, it's almost like they're trying to cover up for something. And, like, you could tell, like, they're trying to pander a little bit. Because, like, while I was in the bathroom, I heard him say... Uh, they're like, oh, like, we want to, like, have an Eorzean, not, uh, what, not Eorzean, Atherothi, Atherazian experience. Like, because everyone knows that, like, the player base wants to return back to Azeroth, and they're just, like, falling back on what they think worked. Unlike Ian. Yeah, and they take questions, exactly. And, like, what if Rathion is, like, a diversity thing, and, like, they, they intentionally, like, these are the, I, I can't help but think these things when I see anything from Blizzard anymore. I wonder if the dragon stuff was inspired by Heaven's Word. Sure did, did anyone else think that? Too. What? In our game, we crack the technology. They We've can got figure them it out. They yep. can fly. You should be proud. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, dude! We were just saying earlier, like at first it was the water. They're gonna. They remember how they talked up the water? What are they gonna talk up this time? It's the ducks. Look, guys, we have ducks now. Can you believe it? We have ducks. Imagine that. I I just hate the format, man. Like, stop to talking to me like that. Get. Ex See, I, I feel like a shill almost when I say, make it like how they do it at Final Fantasy fourteen. Make it like how Yoshi P does it. But, on a, but like, actually, that's how they should do it. <laughs> like, it feels like I'm, like, going, like, okay, Final Fantasy, good, wow, bad. But, like, unironically, the way they do it is actually the way I think you want to actually do it. I seriously tried to play the WoW trial last year. I really tried. But then when you're 10 levels in and have no interest in any of the world or story, you were done. Yeah, I couldn't imagine getting in as a new player. Like, what hooked me to WoW was the fact that I played it as a kid and I had all the nostalgia and the memories from my from my childhood. I feel like that's a lot of WoW players. Uh, my little brothers are 18. And, uh, like, they're, they're finishing up high school. And none of their friends play the game and have any interest in playing the game except this one guy named Michael. And the only reason Michael and they're, they go to a big high school, guys, it's like over 3000 people, 3500 people about. And uh, the only one that they know at their whole school who plays the game is this kid named Michael. And the only reason Michael plays it is because his dad got him into it. And Michael is like trying to, to get like all of these other kids at school to play the game with him. And like they tried and most of them basically just bounced off. Like, the, the new generation, it's usually just people who played it as kids. Like, new people aren't coming in. And that's probably why they're trying to make the theme an uh, Azerothian, like they said, based theme, this expansion, because they're trying to bring in old people. That's the strategy. Let, let's not innovate or try to, you know, bring in uh, young blood or new people into the game or expand our market. No, let's just go back and try to regain the people that we've lost because we have a better chance of doing that because they already have all this nostalgia and they have all of this goodwill built up with the game. So let's just capitalize on the goodwill that our predecessors built up instead of building any of our own goodwill. That's just how it feels like to me. It feels lazy. It feels uh, disingenuous. I don't want to rant about this for too long. I'm I'm getting uh, flustered, as you guys can see. <laughs> that was that was all the coffee I needed for today. I didn't actually need coffee. I just needed to watch a little bit of that video, and now I'm all invigorated. You wouldn't mind if Blizzard copied how Final Fantasy XIV does their live letters? That's what. Yeah, it would be so much better. It feels just more like genuine. It feels like okay, we're here, we're live. Yoshi P's just telling it to us as it is. You know, we don't have all of these like fancy cameras, and we don't have all of these like. Uh, you know, fake smiles. They at least they looked fake to me, man. Like some of the smiles. Anyway, yeah, I was losing my mind watching that. You think what makes a lot of us resent Blizzard's efforts is that they never apologize? Yeah. There's a lot of things. It's that. 
it's like it's the posturing of oh we're so inclusive but they're actually like they have a lot of uh, sexism and racism internally it's a lot man it's a lot of stuff but i i said this before and i'll say it again it's still not right to blame uh you know new hires or blame people who have nothing to do with these practices blizzard is a big company and like it is uh, a whole group of people and so to then you know make people or uh you know blame people who didn't do the thing you uh are you know uh pointing your finger at the company for doing is also wrong that's also wrong like the new hires did nothing wrong and anyone internally who just you know puts their nose down gets to work is is kind is nice to people is you know doesn't display racism or sexism or anything like that and they just go to work and they try to you know do their job well that they, they shouldn't take the brunt of the force for you know uh management's failings or for the failings of the people who are actually engaging in the harassment you know what i'm saying and it doesn't feel like wow yeah i really want to take a look at it i think that was their intention didn't steve denuser say that he wanted to wrap up the story so he doesn't have to deal with the remnants of the story and the lore that was put in place by his predecessors and the uh game designers that came before him and he can kind of do his own thing and you know feel quote unquote free from the shackles so i think that was uh his intention for it to not feel like wow i remember um Tauli. Tauli, i think is still a wow guy till this very day you know he's been a content creator for like a decade now and uh he lives in california and he has uh friends who work at blizzard and he said a long time ago way before they announced this expansion that it was going to feel very different and it was going to be very different and you know it seems like he was right uh, they should have just ar art it oh but that takes effort astro you know that takes actual uh, effort and it's also a risk because what if people don't like it like you know if we just tell them the game is we're gonna make it like how it used to be with like a new fresh code you know that can maybe bring people in but to take a risk and try to innovate us blizzard nah they only showed us what they wanted to not too much so we can rip it apart so we can't rip it apart it's gonna get ripped apart everywhere anyway and they know it yeah, you don't want to you don't want to flinch. You don't want to hesitate like that. Like just be proud of your work if you're proud of it and that's it. And if you're not proud of it, then I guess you have a reason to be scared. But if you're uh, if you're proud of your work, you put it out there and you know that you did what you thought was good and you stand by it. But if you're if you're, you know, insecure about what you've made, then maybe you're going to want to tiptoe around it and you're going to want to, you know, backpedal. No. Put in a solid effort and then and then stand by what you've done. Blizzard used to be the innovators? Not really. B Blizzard used to be the polishers. They take concepts that already were proven to work well and just add that Blizzard polish to them, right? That's what they did with WoW. That's what they did with... Uh, uh, actually, like Diablo, if you talk to the guy who made the game, Di the guy who made Diablo said he was like heavily inspired by D&D, but just the looty parts of D&D. So, like, that's what they did with Overwatch. They took Team Fortress 2, and they're like, okay, let's just polish it, make it a little bit cleaner to play, and that's what Blizzard was done. They were never truly, like, innovators in, in the true sense, you know? Yeah, they're true polishers, exactly. Yeah, yeah.